interactive check monitors in this method uh, server sorry fi interacts with the server and understand this uh, status and the availability of the applications so unlike the other methods just checking the availability of the server and uh, checking for the services and the applications running in this method fi will actually interact with the ser server as like a user and it will check the monitor or it will monitor and check the availability of it one of the good example for this kind of one monitoring is ftp uh, so when you're using this kind of a monitoring uh, fi will actually log in with the username and password as like uh, how a user will log in right uh, fi will try accessing the server with the username and password and uh, it will try to download the content to its directory okay and if the download is successful then it will understand that ftp is working fine not as like it just checks for the port 21 of the ftp service which is running in the remote server or the server behind it and understand uh, and it declares it's available no it's not working like that but what it will hear what it do here is as like a user it uses the credentials with username and password it tries to access the ftp server in this server okay ftp application the ftp server here and it will download the content here to its directly okay uh, to its directory and check whether the download is successful if the download is successful then it declare that it is available so let's see with lab so as i said uh, right one of the good example one of the best way to check for interactive uh, check monitor is to check with the ftp so previously we don't have an ftp but to check this lab to uh, see this lab uh, we are going to do we are going to add a new pool for ftp M maybe not we are, we are not going to add a virtual server we are not going to configure anything in a virtual server until because we are not going to try uh, downloading that content from the user or the client right so we want to understand how the interactive checks it's working okay so what i have done actually uh, i have as i said earlier i have three servers behind my f5 server one server two server three uh, maybe i have named as web server but it's ordinary windows shown machine i am act uh, i have converted this and i'm uh, it's working like a windows server okay web server so what i am doing uh, in my server 3 right okay in my server 3 i am using a ftp server okay an application which act as which act as an ftp server okay and uh, here i'm going to create a username and password a uh, new account okay and with the same account i'm going to uh, check okay check the availability of the ftp from the fi okay so let me add a new user okay let me go to add user uh let the username be shambo s a m b o and password be one two three four five six seven eight nine okay and I want only to check the FTP service, right? So I'm disabling other uh, protocols. HTTP, HTTPS, SFTP. So FTP is enabled. Okay. So if you see here, we have created a, a new user, the name of Shambo, and password is like one two three uh, till nine. Okay. So this is my FTP server, which is running in my uh, actual server three. Okay. This is an application running in the actual server three, and I have created an account uh, for the user shambo so to do the interactive checks what i need to do first i need to create a pool for ftp pool and i need to add the server 3 under that pool okay okay so i'm going to my existing pool uh, it's for http okay let me do one thing let me uh, disable it or force offline it so that when we are going for a Wireshark packet capture, we will not see unnecessary packets, right? So let me create a new pool for FTP and uh, FTP, okay, FTP pool, okay. Uh, description is up to you. 
it's not mandatory and health monitor if you see by default you will not see any customized any anything related to ftp as i said earlier interactive check monitors are a kind of a customs monitor custom monitor okay uh, we need to create it it not be available by default so default only these kind of a monitors which we discussed earlier will be available uh, icmp http uh, tcp kind of setups will be available but the, all the custom monitor will be available only when we created okay so i am not uh, going for any monitoring now maybe i can show you a difference uh, so for that i can select tcp for now okay just to show the difference one uh, to, to show the difference okay and i am going to add as it is an existing node i am going to add from here and as it's for port 21 ftp either i can select it from here or i can specify here both are okay I'm adding here. So if you see that the uh, node tree with port 21 for the FTP services added. So now we have created a new pool. Okay, the pool name is FTP pool, and the member of the pool is only server three. Okay, with service port 21, which is for FTP service. Uh, if you see here, it is showing available. Uh, but the reason for available is it's using TCP for monitoring. It's not checking the availability of the FTP. Okay, uh, it's just checking the TCP. Now what I'm going to do uh, for this interactive check monitoring, we are going to use FTP, right? So we are going to create a new monitoring profile. I'm going to create a new monitoring profile. Okay, so by default, these all the default monitoring profiles are available in FI. Okay. So these are the default monitoring profiles which is available in FI. At the same time, it's all you can create your own. Okay, we can customize the monitoring methods as per your wish. Uh, I'm going to create a new monitoring profile, FTP test. Okay, and um, here you can select the parent profile as it is for FTP. I'm selecting here FTP. So if once you selected it it's taking a parent profile of ftp and if you see that a uh, time interval uh, it's 10 second and 31 second which means uh usual interval time right uh, for other monitoring profiles like icmp or tcp uh, kind of a things it would be five seconds okay comparing to that ftp will be having a little higher uh, a little high uh, if you want you can still reduce it Okay, I'm just going with the same and always the timeout will be uh, three times of the interval uh, second time plus one which means uh, the interval pulling time is 10 seconds okay so that three times of 10 seconds is 30 seconds plus one okay so that is the timeout value for a ICMP if you see by the default the interval value will be 5 and uh, timeout value will be 16 which means three times of 5 is 15 and plus one is 16 okay so I'm going just with the default value and for the username and password, I need to create a username here. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to create a username here. I'm going to use a username uh, credentials, which I have created there in my server three. Okay. So if you remember, I created a username Shambhu with the password one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. It's very important that whenever you are, you are giving any username here, any username and password, it should be available in your FTP server. Only then authentication will get succeed. Else it will not. Okay. So, and path name, I'm not specifying any path name. I'm just giving it a open. And if uh, in your case, if you want to do uh, in a production, if you want to specify to particular path, you can specify it. Okay. As it's a lab, I don't want to mention it specific. Okay. And once I have, this is the newly created FTP profile. Okay, so when I, once I have created the profile, I'm going to pools. I'll show you now. Uh, okay, and before that, what I can do? Okay, let me disable TCP and let me start capturing the packet. Okay, so it starts to capture the packet. Now, what I'm going to do? Uh, as I said earlier, once you created your own monitoring profile, it will be reflected here. Until then, you will be seeing only the default monitoring profiles, just like TCP, TCP half band, um, UDP, hin band, HTTP kind of stuffs, and gateway ICMP. But if you see that earlier, this FTP test was not there. Once we create this profile in a monitoring, now it's reflected here. Okay. So as we want to test this, 
we need to add here update it so for 10 seconds it will be in unknown un unknown uh, state because it takes 10 seconds to pull okay so next to that once this is successful then you'll be seeing this as like available okay also if you, you can update here to see it immediately if you, if you don't want to wait until the pull time you can update it so see now uh, it, it's showing like available which means the service is available and uh, the uh, the authentication is successful or the interactive checks monitoring is successful i would say so, and also i'm checking the node node 3 uh, with ip address 10 10 10 30 along with the service port 21 is available so that the status is in green color let's go and see the Wireshark captures to understand the FT interactive check monitors so in order to precise it i am just filtering with the ftp okay so if you come from the very first packet let's go one by one uh, see these are the communication between my fi and my server 3 okay and uh, see so if you hear it's just an uh, starting message uh, 10 10 10 100 uh, which is my fi fi right so fi is sending a packet to uh, sending a request to my server uh, my backend server the third backend server which is acting as an ftp server okay and he is giving the username is like shambo okay uh, if you remember that I, I i told right is it will work fi will work as like an user okay and uh, it will interact with user as like sorry it, uh fi will interact with the server as like a user to understand the um, status or to check whether is it working as per the design as per the requirement okay if it's not working as per the requirement then it will declare as like down so if you see here fi is interacting with server with a username shambo and uh, now once fi gives the username a shambo uh, now server is asking for the password for the username shambo okay now again fi is sending the password to server if you see the password if you remember one two three till nine right so this is the password we have created in both uh ftp server when we created account also when we are creating a monitoring profile we give the same password so the, uh, now fi shared that password with the server okay and once if a server reaches the uh, receives the password from fi the authentication is successful and it giving the information to server saying that you, you are logged in Okay, which means it's, it's saying that the authentication is successful and it allowed the FI to log into the server. Okay, now FI logged into the server, uh, accessing the server, FTP server, as like a user. Okay, and uh, it's just checking for the, as, as it, I told, right, I'm not specifying any directory. I'm just giving us like a blank because entire directory to choose. So it, it is accessing to the FTP server and it's downloading it to its directory you see transfer okay which means uh it's successful it's successful first it tried if i try to access the ftp server using the credentials we gave in the profile okay once the authentication is successful uh it tries to download a data from ftp server to its directly okay and the transfer is okay now it's uh quitting the session which is it's closing the session see quit and goodbye from the server quit is initiated by fi to the server and the server is saying goodbye okay so this is how fi will keep on checking with the backend ftp server as like a user okay it will keep on interacting with the server with its username and password and once the uh, authentication is successful it will try to download something from the ftp server and checks uh, is it working as per the design when i say as per the design if for the ftp operations i need to do ftp right so it's checking whether uh, it's working if it's unable to get those information that it declare as like down okay see uh, again it uses the same username and it gives the same password and authentication is successful so once it's successful do all the transactions and transfer is okay quit and the session is closed okay so that is the reason uh, we are seeing here the availability is like available the status is like available let me do one thing uh, i'll go to the server and okay let me go to the server if you remember that uh, using 
the username user credential shambo uh, using this particular username you are trying to check the status of the ftp right from the fi because this is the username we have we uh, created we have saved in the fi so now what i'm going to do i'm going to remove this user okay shambo from my ftp server so immediately i remove from here maybe in 10 seconds of time i could see it will go unavailable or down reason being that is this particular uh, pool or pool member uh, it's monitored by interactive check pool interactive checks right so we are using a monitoring profile ftp test okay and there we have created a username as like uh, username shambo and password as one two three uh, till nine but now we have er earlier the authentication is successful and it shows us available because the same username and password was available in the destination ftp server but now we have removed that user account from the destination account uh, destination server it's not available so now when fi is trying to access that server the authentication will be failed because now the, sh the username shambo is not available there right Right. So let's check. See, now it's offline. It shows the node as offline, which means not available. Okay, let's check that here also in a packet capture. Let's see for the latest packets. Okay, see, okay. Okay, let me take very recent one. Okay, see. Uh, as like the same as like earlier if i uh, sent a username shambo to ftp server and ftp server asked for password for the account shambo and again as a replay ftp uh, if i replay to ftp server as a password as like one two nine one two three four five six seven eight nine okay now as we have removed this account shambo from the ftp server the authentication is failed and see not logged in saying password error which means the authentication is not successful, it's failed because we have removed the account from the FTP server due to which the authentication is failed and uh, this transaction is not completed, not successful. So FI declares that this is down, okay? But it's not actually down, we have just deleted the username which we used for the authentication, right? Okay, let me show you once again. Let me create or uh, I'll do in another way also. See if you see, uh, we already have an account Shiva. Okay, this also has the same password uh, as like one to nine. Let me do one thing. Uh, though we have deleted uh, the user account Shambo, I'll do one thing. I'll try to in our monitoring method. Okay, in FTP test which we used here. Uh, if you go, I can show you once again. This FTP pool is the current FTP pool which we are trying, which we are uh, using the interactive check monitoring. Okay, if you see, this is the pool name, right? FTP test, and this pool is currently having the username as Shambo and password as one two nine. As we deleted the username Shambo in the destination authentication, sorry, destination FTP server, the authentication is failed, and it is saying like. Uh, if uh, it's down okay now what i'm going to do instead of using shambo i'm asking fi to use the user credential username as shiva and password one to nine the same okay immediately once i update here maybe in 10 seconds of time you could see it's coming see it's up now so before it was in when it is in shambo we, we saw it isn't down and immediately once we change the shiva it came up because the username Shiva and password 129, th that account is now available in that FTP server. So this shows that uh, FI is interacting with the server, okay, and it's checking whether the server and the it, the server the server and the applications is working as per the requirement, as per the design, and based on that it monitors, okay, it shows the monitoring. Okay, I'll once again show the packet capture. Okay, see. If you see now, uh, once we change the username as Shiva, now FI is communicating, interacting with server with the username as Shiva. Earlier it was with the name Shambo, right? If you see now, it is with the username Shiva. And again, 
server is asking to the fi for the password for the user account shiva now again fi is giving the password as like one to nine this gets uh, successful authentication successful because this user account is available there okay so if you see that user is logged in because authentication is successful once user is logged in authentication is successful all this transaction goes place and once this transfer is okay they will quit the session so this will keep on uh, going okay uh, and it will keep on checking in regular interval of time maybe at uh, every 10 uh, 10 second once it will keep on check and uh, it will try to download something from the ftp server and check for the availability so this is how uh, interactive check works so as i said fi will interact with the server and understand whether it is working as per the requirement this is how interactive check monitoring works